If your New Year's resolution is anything like mine, you want to start eating healthy and getting into shape. I'm trying to look like the Kardashians. Speaking of the Kardashians, this is their favorite restaurant, where they can be found sometimes four times a week. Let's get on in there and let's go see what the hype's all about. Come on. So here it is, we're in the fancy world of Calabasas at Health Nut, come on. Ooh, I like the look in here. It's like wow, a- Wow, they changed this. Wow, it's like a, a modern farmhouse. It. That's what it looks like, modern farmhouse. It's like restoration hardware. Yeah, I love it. You know they got rich off this. Oh yeah. Hello, how are you? Good, so um, we heard that the Kardashians eat here a lot. Yeah. And we want to order exactly what they ordered. Do you know what they ordered by chance? Yeah, they usually get the Chinese chicken salad. Um, okay. Let me ask my manager what they get exactly. Perfect, thank you so much. All right, so we're literally gonna get it down to the T, and we're gonna see why they like this place so much. When I used to come here when I was really, really young, it wasn't like this. It wasn't? What was it, was, it like? They used to have a bunch of vitamins oh. all over. It was mostly like a vitamin store, wow. as I recall. Nice changes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so they get the Chinese chicken salad, the chef salad with chicken, and then a deluxe salad with tuna. Okay, so get those let's three? get all three of those. All right, cool. And then I heard that there's some very delicious Tea that we have to drink with these. That yeah, yeah, we have the mango ice cream tea. Do okay. We want, one of those? we want one or two of those. Two. Let's get two of those. Right. Do you want a small or large? large. Let's go large. large. All right, cool. When did you guys remodel in here? Um, well, we just opened up like Monday. Oh, oh. Yeah. this couldn't be any more perfect. Right. Is there anything else that they order, or is this um, it? I think she, my manager says just those three. Thanks. Yes, for Brennan. Brennan. Sorry. Are you guys gonna be dining in or out? In, please. Alright, can I see proof of vaccination, please? Oh, yes. So back what I was saying, when I used to come here in like 2010, 2011, what? maybe before the Kardashians even so came here. you're an OG I'm health I'm an OG, nutter. yeah. It looked completely different. This place used to be, from my memory, we'll try to find some photos to pop up, it used to be like a vitamin store that had a restaurant in the back. And like, the whole premise of the store was like sell these like vitamin D, <laughs> I got some of that. Vitamin me, vitamin C, <laughs> vitamin K. Kardashians, and then they had a little restaurant, still the same size in the back, but imagine like a store, like like uh, right. a market. So imagine like a whole market through this whole area instead of chairs. They wow. didn't have seating areas. You would just sit outside the little two stores, and then the Kardashians. You start seeing them infamously eating the salads, uh -huh. which we're gonna get. And yeah, this place transitioned a couple times because I was here actually two years ago and it looked different. Wow. So that you know what that means? Kardashian money. Well, they're getting that money because they're, they're also on a prime location here in the center of Calabasas. So they have all the rich areas. Like right next to us is Hidden Hills, where the Kardashians live. That is the richest of the rich in this area, at least. Houses go for $10 million. Oh, that's me. Let me go grab this. And this is James Bath and Perfume in Calabasas. All right, first off, this restaurant just got revamped and it opened on Monday, which is three days ago, so everything should be spotless. <gasps> There's trash. All right, it's okay. Look at this wallpaper, it's beautiful. This right here is a unisex bathroom. They only have one, so it's all genders. Everyone can use it. All genders can be better than unisex, but it is what it is. Someone's trying to get in here, so I gotta make it quick. All right, back to the food. This is gonna be our chef salad. Here is our just called the This door. is my go-to salad, That's so I'm glad. Deluxe. I'm glad. Yeah, this is I get the deluxe with tuna every single time I come here. So thank you, Kardashians. <laughs> and hit here, my line. And here is the Chinese chicken. Honestly, these look really good. I mean, look at the bowls. Like they, this is the classic Kardashian bowl right here. This is what you'll see them eating in the Kardashian show. They're just chilling, munching on a giant salad, and here they are. Let's see why they're so popular. Okay, so 
So we're gonna use the original house dressing. This is Jake's favorite as well as the Kardashians' favorite. So, damn, maybe they might, maybe I'm, <sighs> You might be one. Do you I'm guys a, think, oh, what if this is one, hold on. No, oh, no, no. What maybe Courtney has to think or something. <laughs> you guys, you never know. All these Calabasas folk kind of look the same. So I'm just coming out of a diet right now where I was not allowed to eat any carbs. So this is gonna be the first filling meal that I've had in I don't know how long. So as you can see in this one, they have sprouts, they got sunflower seeds, they got chicken, tomatoes. I don't see any avocado on mine. Do you guys have any avocado? No. Okay, so that's one thing that I do like in a salad that's not in here, but hey, maybe that's how the Kardashians order it. It doesn't come with it. Like, oh. All right, so I'm gonna have the same type of greens. It's gonna have tomatoes, cucumbers, cheese, tuna, carrots, and some sunflower seeds. So the only thing that's really the main difference in your in and mine is I don't have carrots, you don't have sprouts, and then the, the meat is different. So let's try this, here we go. I love these seeds. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. The dressing is just so fire. Mm -hmm. Even the dressing is pretty healthy. Like it has apple cider vinegar in it, which is used to like break down fats in your body and stuff. So everything that's in here, and then like it has soybean oil rather than like olive oil. That's a healthy like, dressing. Everything that they're doing in here is very about your health and eating good and being very pure. Everything is made in, in house here. Uh, nothing is store bought. It's Korean owned, small business supporting them. And what's crazy is they, I used to steal their dressing, like the green bottle. I used to just take it with me because it's so good. Don't say that. Too bad, I hear you. Tried you for it. <laughs> I was like 14. But now they have their own bottles and you can buy there, mm. $5. Which is crazy because there's nothing crazy about the salad besides how fresh it is. Right. You can make this all at home. It is something that you can make at home. But it's just about being here, eating it in the Kardashian bowl that you see on the TV. You know, the, the dressings are very good and they probably started selling them because people like you were stealing them. Mm -hmm. They probably had rich soccer moms shoving these bottles in their Louis Vuitton bags For sure. and walking out. One of my favorite things about that salad though is the sunflower seeds inside. It gives each bite a little crunch. It's better than a crouton, I would say. This is good. Tuna. It's bomb. But the chicken's not as good as I was thinking. The, the tuna is the way to the, go. The tuna is the way to go. The chicken's a little bit a little bit dry, it makes it feel. Yeah. But it's still really good. This salad normally comes with turkey inside, but the Kardashian way of doing it is swapping out the turkey and adding chicken. They're a chicken loving family. But you sacrifice flavor when you go that route. And it's not even seasoned. Maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. But then again, when you're going to get a salad place, you want like bare bones essentials inside. You don't want all this little extra crap that they put in and saltiness of you know seasonings and stuff. So it is what it is and it is really good. I will say that. This is probably one of the better salads I've ever had. You'll feel, tuna, you'll feel good it. and it's a big salad. Uh -huh. Like I mean, where do you go when you get like nowhere. weight? Yeah. Weight. Mm -hmm. All right, let's trade back, man. That tuna is impeccable. <laughs> Unreal. And they have a full menu. They have other stuff. They have sandwiches. They have tuna sandwiches. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back and do a deep dive of the health nut menu, but this specifically is about the Kardashian meals, and this these are the three salads that they ordered. I think before we jump into the Chinese, let's try these mango teas, because this is what you're supposed to drink when you're eating these salads, as, as that's what they're known for, at least. These are the mango iced green teeny. I don't know what that's all about, but here we go. You ready? If it's that good, I might bring this some alcohol. Mm. Mm. Oh, so it is sweet, but they said no added sugar, so it's just obviously like... It gives you like that classic green tea taste, but with a bunch of like honey almost. Oh, that's good. It. It it that's honey. probably what it is. Yeah. It's probably not sugar, it's honey. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of mango, you get the like the citrusiness inside of it, but the sweetness really, I think, comes from honey. Yeah. That's what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, it's getting yeah. real busy. All the soccer moms are piling in and out right now, jumping out of their Teslas and Range Rovers. Spicy Asian? Okay. So we're going with the spicy Asian sauce on our Chinese chicken salad. Should we just put it everywhere or just in the corner? Let's put Two it half and half. Let's just go. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this kind of looks like a, a, a hot sauce or a sriracha. A buffalo or something. sauce. Buffalo, that's what it looks like off the bat. We didn't try it or anything. They all use the same type of iceberg lettuce. Gonna have the same chicken. Looks like there's some radishes in there, carrots. There's these like um, wonton chip things, crisps, chips. I don't know. And then you have two chips of She gave us sesame and spicy Asian. So we're gonna go uh, half spicy and half. Asian first. First things first. Some spicy Asian. Mmm. 
It needs a lot this. more though. It needs a lot more. I can't even taste really anything. I just taste a little like, heat in my mouth. It's good, but it's subtle. It's Spice very subtle. Spice level is more intense than the actual flavor of the dressing, I would say. But it is actually pretty good to have a spicy salad. I don't think I've ever had a spicy salad before. Whoa, what if you mix them both? Well, let's try this one Let's first. try half and half first. So this looks like it's more of like a white, milky type dressing compared to the red of the other. What I noticed about this store is subtlety is their art. Because everything is so subtle, but actually really complements each other nicely. Yeah. And the thing about like most salad dressings today is they're so bad for you mm -hmm. that you don't want to use a lot of it. But there's so many good ingredients in this that it's almost like you can just drink the whole thing and yeah. you'll be fine. And I don't and like when you think of a typical salad, you're thinking of you know a Caesar salad. I don't even think they have a Caesar salad here. This place is so beyond that and so much bigger than a Caesar salad that every dressing is so good. Look at them; they're all naturally preserved with apple cider vinegar, no artific artificial flavors or colors. Vegan and gluten free. That's good to know. And which stood out most to you? The tuna. This green tea is really good too. The green tea is amazing. I think the tuna was really delicious for the factor of the tuna, just the tuna itself. Like, I could have just gotten a bowl of that tuna and enjoyed it just as much as I would have enjoyed one of these salads. Yeah. I will say about the Chinese salad that I really liked is just the interestingness of this spicy Asian sauce because. Something about it is making me want to go back and eat a little bit more because it is spicy and I've never had a spicy salad before and for some reason I kind of really enjoyed it. I definitely just think you, when you eat this, you don't feel bad. Mm -mm. And there's a good amount of meat in each of the salad. It's not like you get a couple little diced up pieces of chicken and, and you're kind of saying, damn, I wish I got some more chicken. They are giving you like, probably looks like on this salad alone, probably maybe a full chicken breast or maybe two, one and a half, I don't know. It's a lot of sap. I mean, it's a lot of meat on there though, so I do respect that a lot. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up the merch at brennantaylor.com. It literally matches my car right here, and as you can see, there's Jake's car. If you guys like the whips, smash the thumbs up. I love you guys so much. If you liked us eating at the Kardashian spot, let us know in the comments and we'll go eat some more healthy spots. Yep. Until next time, we love you. We'll see you later. Woo! Come on. Past is in front of me. I can run no more. I'm scared. They say that love is cheap and that's why I'm unprepared. I'm